shit. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I. My life is dope and why? I don't know these words. How can we judge? You think that you're the only one life down in the mud? Personality does. How do you think you're alone? Pumbaa, Timon. Look up from your phone. Oh, don't look down at your phone. Can we get the chorus back here? Oh, here it comes. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is 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 dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is my life is my life is my life. Don't let the okay fuck the rest of that. Anyway, welcome everybody. Future Probe is live and direct. This is a new Future Probe episode, not an old one. We were just listening to uh, the new hit single, My Life is Dope by Fat Damon, Aka, Ray William Johnson. So shout out, Ray, if you're watching this, hell yeah. Not Ray, uh, you know, like Ray and Tina, the famous streamers, nah. Tonight, we're only talking about Ray William. Dope shit. <laughs> well, I got excited for a second. So anyway, check out Fat Damon, My Life is Dope. Great song. Uh, probably going to be song of the year. Um, when did it, did it come out this year? Or? Uh, 2018. 2018. Best song of last year. Um, someone named Fat Damon said, My Life is Dope. So it's obviously a good one. <sighs> Anyway, what's up, everybody? Today, this is a very special Future Probe. Uh, we're streaming here live as opposed to streaming taped. And uh, I'm in the merch department here at Mega64 HQ, the merchandise, uh, which is clearly and boldly illustrated by almost nothing behind me, except we got a bunch of these hoodies. Um, if you ordered one of these hoodies, you know, they're going out. They already went out, I think, yeah, right? they're on their way right now. They're on their way to you. Kevin over here is keeping it locked over, you know, in the merch department. He's keeping everything going and flowing and traveling and shipping and skipping and whatever. Um, but anyway, so he's doing that. Uh, I'm just making it a lot harder for him. Uh, he was going to do a couple things here and then head out. So obviously I needed to complicate that. I needed to complicate that. I shouldn't have added the D there. And, um, uh, I thought it would be cool to do, Damn it. I thought it would be cool to do a stream from in here, kind of get a sense of what's going on. Kevin's shipping stuff. And I always appreciate when I see somebody buy one of our things. When I, I used to ship the merchandise way back in the beginning of our company, I used, I did it myself and I would actually get like emotional about it for some reason. Like, no, I mean, no, I wasn't like crying over it, but, but like when I would ship stuff out, like I would, can I carry it? Okay. Yeah. I would pick up a package. Uh, you know, I would quickly, like, I did it from my room, and I would just, you know, slap stickers on it, slap another sticker on it, you know, and bring And then when I would bring it to the post office, that's where I would get almost kind of emotional about it. Like, I would pick up a package to throw it in the in the thing, and it would be like, oh, man, uh, Michael uh, Chips, Chips uh, from Nebraska, like, this is going all the way to Nebraska. Like, somebody, somebody spent their money... You know, to like do that for like, that's so nice. And then, you know, and like one would go to like Kuwait or something and be like, wow, like, thank you. Like for, for doing that. So that was really cool. Are you okay? Yeah. I was going to say goodbye. Should I say Oh hi? yeah. Dude, the stream just started. Oh, Jump hey. in. Garrett is going to take over. I'm going to actually oh. bounce for a second. So this is I all Garrett. I don't. Take care. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Do something. Fucking do something. Dude. Go nuts. The world's watching. Oh, oh, oh shit! 
Oh, fuck. are you fuck. okay? Oh, God. Are you okay? Are you okay, dude? Oh, fuck, dude. I can drive myself to the hospital. Dude, are you okay. fucking serious? I can drive dude? myself. That's, yeah, but there's blood. Dude. That's true. Oh. Yeah, but there's blood, dude. It, there's... Oh, fuck. Do Because he's bleeding. Mm -hmm. I don't... There's... I guess it's... Yeah. I guess he can just... Is this live? <sighs> um, okay. I know, I know how to do this. I know how to what fix happened? it. I know how to fix it. Yo shit! My life is dope and I do dope shit. My life is dope and I do my life is my life. Okay. We're good everybody. Don't worry, the stream has been repaired. Um Alright, so anyway, uh so the point which I'm getting to is I'm here in the merchandise department. I'm yeah. I was always very affected shipping merch out. I'd be like, dude, this is going to this dude in Iraq. This is going to this dude in Canada. And I'm about to like give this, send this off, and they, I don't know. They gave me like their money they worked for, you know. And that just that meant a lot to me. So it got me thinking. You know, buying stuff, spending money. That's not what it's all about. But sometimes it feels pretty good. Sometimes in life, you buy something and you go. I'm so glad I bought that. I'm so glad I got my hard earned cash together and I spent it on that because it paid off or it made me real, like real stoked, you know, whatever. So that's my conversation for tonight is what's something that you bought that you were so happy you did? Like you were just so stoked that like, oh, I'm so glad I bought that. Uh, Again, I don't mean to keep roping Kevin into this because I know he's doing his own thing, but can you think of something, Kevin, where you were like, I was so happy I bought that? Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't... I buy something. Like, in terms of things, I would probably say my ghost trap because now... The ghost trap. I bought it the day, yeah. I bought it, the day it went up and yeah. it never went up again. And yeah. And that was it. And I'm so happy I bought that because it's impossible to get now. Yeah. They, they made a, Mattel made a replica ghost trap from Ghostbusters. And it was, that thing was perfect. Yeah. Like that Mattel, uh, their, their company or whatever that did those, uh, like replicas of stuff. Some of the things they didn't do that great, but the ghost trap they nailed. And you could even like roll it out and it would even like vibrate. Like there was a ghost inside. Like it was really, really cool. And yeah, you're right. They were impossible to get after that. Yeah, they go for tough. All weekend. It, like it wasn't even like it sold out in a minute. They were yeah. Out. For an entire weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And then they sold out, and that was it. And that was it, yeah. And that's one of the best replicas I think they've ever anybody's yeah. ever made. So uh, I got that too, and I and I even thought like I don't know, I'm not really into Ghostbusters that much anymore, but I did love the gadgets. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, and I'm glad I did too, because that's a really impressive like yeah, piece. But anyway, that'd be one for me. You know, another one for me was when I was younger, I didn't have a, I did not have a lot of money for games. Really, most of the video games that I played, like, luckily, my mom was into games, so she would buy them, or my dad. My dad sometimes would play, but um, but uh, I really, uh, so I didn't have a lot of money to get games just that I would enjoy. Um, so uh, I saved up, and I was going to buy Air Guides on PlayStation, but then I was like, hmm... This Super Smash Brothers game is coming out on N64. That could be cool. I don't really know. And so I did it and uh, I bought it and I remember having so much fun with that Smash with the original Smash Brothers. I played it all the time, uh, constantly unlocking stuff, playing it with friends, all that stuff. I had more fun with that game than any other game in years. Uh, and so I was like, yeah, that was worth saving up the 60 bucks or however much it was at that time. So, um, anyway, I'm curious if there's anything out there that you feel like, man, I'm so glad I spent that money. Is this lagging? Is this like not working? People are saying it's smooth. Some people are saying it's smooth. Some people are saying it's not. So you tell me. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Is there anything that you have used before or bought that you thought, man, I'm so glad I got that. Um, 
Spuswick says, mine is the first illustrated copy of the King James for King James version, old and new Testament literally saved my life used to snort rails off that shit and got me late. Shame on you. Spuswick. Come on. Uh, in 2013, I bought a one of a kind drawing of the rooster teeth logo by the original artist and got it signed by everyone, including Monty. So that's priceless to me now. Oh, wow. Okami art book. That's a, that, that, I still haven't played that, so I can't say if that's good or not. But I'm going to say most people would say it's good. Um, yeah, stutter every now and then. That's really good. Okay. Uh, Bobby McPrescott bought an Oculus Rift right before the touch controllers and Super Hot came out, and a ton of, uh, okay. And let's see, uh, it was like you found a lot, a piece of alien tech because nobody had that yet. I totally, I, even with PlayStation VR, I felt like I had something nobody else had. Um, Force Stride says, I spent $200 on a virtual, but then it's like an emoji of like a dude with a gun. A virtual what? What did that, I don't know what that meant. Uh, Dr. Ryan says, finding the white Flynn disc from Target. It was the only one in all of Portland. Yes, I remember looking for the white, uh, the, yeah, they sold all the discs from the Neutron and, uh, they sold, they were all black, you know, it was, uh, uh, Sam Flynn had the black and blue disc, Rinsler had the black and orange, uh, original Kevin Flynn, uh, James Bridge, uh, James Brid Bridgetal is what I meant to say. Jeff Bridgetal, Jeff Bridgetal uh, he had the white disc and I remember hunting that down couldn't find it anywhere and then we were having a meeting this is going to sound goofy me Derek and Sean were writing a new video in the middle of a wiener schnitzel uh that's just where we went for lunch that day don't ask me why we wanted some durgers anyway and we saw Kevin walking down the street isn't that what it was I think so you yeah. were walking down the street and we were like what the hell and we went out, I went outside and was like, hey, dude, we're in here. And you came in, Ke and Kevin had the white disc. Right? Wasn't that what happened? Found it at a Target. You found it at a Target. I never saw that in a store right. after, before or after. And Kevin walked in and, and got it for me. I was so like, thank you, bless this man, that I never saw, I never found it myself, ever. I hope I paid you. Did I pay you back for that? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I, shit. I, I have no idea. You don't remember what uh, the payment status is something nine years ago? No, I don't. I don't. I didn't keep my, I got to check my books. Fuck. I got to, I <laughs> might be outstanding. Well, I, oh, shit. <laughs> I think they were I 25. No, I have no idea. You probably did. You know, I have all those discs, but they're on like a bottom shelf in my house. I got to bring those here because I want to put them up higher. Yeah. I thought it was so cool. They sold a lot of cool shit when Tron came out. Mm. Tron Legacy. Yeah, you got it all. I think I got every piece of... I don't know what it was, but I just aesthetically loved that movie so much that I bought every toy that they put yeah. out. Now, I probably didn't need to go that far. But I was still living at home at that time, and I could afford a lot of stupid shit when I lived at home. <laughs> um, probably wouldn't go that far now. But I got... I really think I got every toy they put out for that, except there was a figure they promised of, uh, what's his name? He was the dude who ran the, the club. They didn't sell it here, but I think some people got it from the factory. No, it was the dude, the British dude. Yeah, he was the tension the is palpable. They, they never made him. Yeah, they never made him, but uh, it did show up on eBay later because people who worked at the factory like got him or something. Okay. So I never got that. Anyway, this isn't the Tron cast, but... Hopefully you see where I'm coming from here. Um, Owlface says, took a chance on Rainbow Six Siege when it first came out. Now every single one of my friends plays it religiously, is updated and supported frequently as my most played game. Yeah, I know a lot of people that got into that newest Rainbow Six. Really? Uh, yeah, I only played the one. I played Rainbow Six Vegas because we like did promotion for that, but that's all I've ever played. Um, let's see what else. 
It feels weird to say I bought my cat and I'm very happy. Well, I mean, that's that's a good thing. Uh, Kevin Moloch bought a cell, the Cell Saga on VHS with his allowance <laughs> at Sam Goody. Oh, my gosh. That must have cost you a fortune. Getting that whole saga on tape at Sam Goody. Yeah. You, you, did you take out a loan? Like, what, what did you have to do? AirPods are so convenient. I think that's going to be my other one. AirPods. Really? AirPods are yeah. one of my favorite things I've ever purchased. Uh, and if Sean was here, he'd back me up on this. I use those in every way possible. I went there the morning that I remember uh, I got tipped off that they were going to sell them at Apple on a certain day for the first time. And I thought, well, that's the day to go because who knows when they'll have it after that. Mm -hmm. But this is the one time I know they will be there. And I got them and they, the sound quality is amazing uh, for phone calls and shit like that. It's perfect. I love that when you take one out, it pauses the song and the functionality of all of it. Uh, I use AirPods more than any other device I own other than, you know, I, the phone. But uh, I don't know. If, have you heard the latest rumors on those? Uh, black ones? The, uh, yeah. They're, uh, yeah they're, it's looking more and more like there might be matte black ones later this year. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? It wasn't you looking for iPod yeah. or uh, 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 AirPod rumors. It was, uh, who was it? It was somebody else I know was like, oh, let me know when the next, you know. When the next big releases. Yeah. I can't remember who now. I want to say it was Sean, but Sean has his. I don't, I don't know if he needs them. Yeah, I would get black ones. Black is my, I get all my. He's canceling headphones. I got the cheapest, discon the cheapest discontinued pair, and it's still great. Um... Have you have you ever had noise canceling headphones? Never. Yeah, I've never uh, really dealt with that. I think I tried some in Japan, but I never. I don't own any or anything. Um, Aaron is in the chat. He says I bought a burned copy of The Matrix from a random dude in high school, and got sent to Saturday school for it, which is where I met my best friend. Good purchase. That's great. Good purchase. Yeah. I love that he bought a bootleg of it. Like, it was like, nah, no, I'm not going to spring for the real stuff. Uh, yeah, they're talking about Sam Goody having an anime section. It absolutely did. Wasn't Sam Goody owned by the same company as Suncoast? I don't know. I think it was. I think that was all the same company. Uh, Dr. Ryan says, I regret buying my Switch. It's been collecting dust for a year. What the fuck? It's I've been all, it, that's only because they don't have they don't have trophies. That's it. I've been playing my I've played my I Switch play more, than more than any anything. other console. They don't have trophies, so Ryan doesn't play it. What the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with him? I don't balk about honestly. I am I'm the last person that will bar, balk about uh, old game prices because there's times where like like Final Fantasy IX yeah. came out and it was like twenty bucks. Wait, is four not twenty? No. It's twenty on PS4. It's, it's twenty on PS4. Everything. It's thirty on Switch. Isn't that crazy? That's stupid. Yeah. I, I now I have no. Here's here's the thing. I think the I think a, a game if it's a great experience is worth the money. So will I pay thirty bucks to have four on a on a portable? Yeah, I I will, and I have no problem with that. But it is it does it's not a good look that on PS4 right now you could get like the uh, a, a fancier resolution version of it for twenty. Yeah. And also the double it was the double pack that came out on PlayStation, right? Yes. It was forty and it's sixty. Like they're each thirty. Oh, that's stupid. It's just kind of not getting it. I'll it it just just because I want it portable, but that's it. Just kind of it's just kind of dirty pool a little bit. It just doesn't. It's not a good look. I, it's not like I won't pay thirty for four, but it's just kind of looks bad. Yeah. I never. I never. Uh, ju personally, this is just me. You tell me if I'm wrong. I personally never judge the worth of a game. Since it's, it's been there since 93, to me, that doesn't mean like, oh, well, tickets to that show should only be five bucks now because it's been open for 26 years. That should not be 50 bucks. No. You know, it, you know, NES, it, it all, it's such a like little like uh, novelty of a thing. Yeah. Make that five or 10 bucks probably, you know. My shit is always choppy on this. I don't know what it is. I have better results on like LTE outside. 
But the, the Wi-Fi is just like off, on, 